so if you want to understand more behind the maestro Jacob Collier, you're in the right place. In this case, we're going to be looking at the song Hideaway. I'm going to be breaking down Jacob's approach um, in terms of his music making. So to help you um, in your own music making, developing your ideas, etc. And to be honest, just finding out more behind the maestro. Why not? <laughs> So today we're looking at Hideaway, which also features the Metropole Orchestra. Let's check it out. Here we go. Good to go. <laughs> it's already. I bet we're going to be in the key of D for a quick tune. Yeah, you can hear it. And what's interesting there, he's actually playing that stuff on his left hand. Yeah. Yeah, so stuff in relation to the D major scale. Let's get there. Yeah. So the major scale of D. So he's just playing notes as he feels in relation to that D major. Interesting though, on the left hand. Here we go. Ooh. D major. You can hear that major seven. La strings as well. Oh, beautiful. D major 9. Very warm as opposed to just, that's functional, it's got its place but, ugh, beautiful. You can even add in the 13. <laughs> ugh. over that one pedaled note. Ooh, play the bass. <laughs> he thought about that as well, the bass player. <laughs> he made a choice right here. There we go. <laughs> da -da -da. Something like that pentatonic kind of stuff. Yeah. Very nice. So fundamentally, da, 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 da. four to one, so D major, G major, back to D major. Oh, I like that. B minor, so the inclusion of a minor chord to another minor chord, E minor, so six to two in relation to the D major. Six. that falls beautiful melody yeah you know that my love is strong oh. perfect in my heart away. yep so ah, the bass do, do. Oh, with the bass so they're just outlining he's outlining that major seven listen to that with the bass Chromatic falling. So yeah. <laughs> like the calm. <laughs> so yeah. That's 
so good. <laughs> I wasn't the only one that heard all of that, right? You heard that, right? That was quite something. That whole section that we just heard. One more time. So we're in D. In my heart, oh like it's 5-1. Sounds like as much as they're about to transition, we've still got our foundation kind of harmony approaches, our fives to ones. So that's a sus chord. And then Yeah, so a five to one ready to see, and then he's about to go off somewhere. Jacob's range. Ugh. Oh, they're resting on the G. Uh, sharp 11. You can hear that. Uh. Uh, minor. Minor 4 to take us back to. Ah, so like a plagal cadence. 4 to 1. To 1. Let me just play through the ending, okay? I think that was a oh, that was a five to one as well. Five one in relation to the G. Once again, the good old five as a sus as well. So they transition. Five sus. Now I've noticed Jacob uses this quite a lot in terms of five. So if we're going to G, so. Five one, you can play the five as a D traditionally, but he's using to do the sus approach. Yeah, and obviously the strings are fleshing this out. But ultimately, just going down the tone with the right hand, playing a C major, with the D in the left hand. Very warm. I find this chord to be like a hug. <laughs> Take you home, the G. <laughs> yeah, you better sing. You better sing. Back to D. Like I've never loved before in a place that I don't in my heart. Oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> Once again, so before we had this chromatic singing then he's got this kind of <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah that kind of <laughs> but would, would you not agree Jacob couldn't really sing you know the master musician in terms of the instruments here yeah. Um, outside of himself <laughs> but using his vocals you know as an instrument he can really sing Beautiful, beautiful. Would you not agree? <laughs> you better sing. 
I like that with the major seven. Hear that really clearly with the strings. It's actually, I think it might be a flute actually, some more the woodwind. Yeah. I think Jacob's um, his subtle smile there was in relation to that line from the flutes. I would assume that really comes out of nowhere, right? <laughs> Even turns a little bit. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah, he felt he felt it. <laughs> He's even trying to emulate the, the, the flute. Oh, come on. <laughs> I love how these things, like, if you really pay attention, you know, you can see so much. And obviously, the, cam the camera angles are imperative to being able to see what happens. Because obviously, I'm not there at, in, at the actual performance. But, you know, you can just feel these kind of things, these kind of relationships that are happening um, on stage, you know, um, reactions that are happening, call and responses. It's a, it, a lot of it just goes down to emotion and you know it's beautiful to be also to, to be able to feel this as well you know some seven years later well wow, it's quite a long time since this um yeah this song or the version of the song came out but still it's beautiful to kind of be have a seat on the ride as it were so beautiful beautiful and that, that that's a great example in terms of how jacob really felt what the flautist was doing and then he kind of did his own Ooh, <laughs> as you're about to see <laughs> <laughs> Those chords. Ugh. Yeah. Oh, oh. So. Oh, G. We're resting back on the G. Maybe not the B flat, but definitely, yeah. yeah. It's something like that. Ugh. Sharp 11. But there's some other bits in there as well. But that was. I felt that. <laughs> Something in relation to E minor. Down, follow, follow. Oh, I hear the drums, but, 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 but. Yeah. Okay. So this is in relation to E minor. So I can kind of see this more so as being in kind of the key of G as a center, but over the six. Yeah, and the bass line is just revolving around that E to the G. Do, 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 do. Yep. Oh, shot. Uh, to the, what are you singing there? I heard that kind of minor six. The sixth. Ah, so he's actually singing down that kind of Dorian mode. Yeah, simply put, with the Dorian thing, just think about the key of D. And go up to the second. So in relation to, um, yeah. Yeah, the, this E, so yeah, using the, the, essentially the major scale of D. <laughs> That's what I'm referring to there in terms of that Dorian mode. But having E as a center. I'm just using D major stuff. 
yeah, simple as that. Yeah. Oh. Nice to see everyone singing. Yeah. Sing, Jacob. Major seven of the G. Yeah, man. That's gonna be the five to get us to do it. Or maybe not. Okay, the bass. Bass one. Semitonal clash there. I heard that note come ringing through, but this is a fundamental bass note though of A. Interesting. Is that more just sus? Yeah, it's more sus. Okay. Ultimately, it kind of sounds like we're really in the key of D, really. What really grounds it for me is when he just sang Rainfall. When the rain falls. When the rain falls, yeah. So a lot of this stuff is feel, you know, where can you feel where the, you know, melody is resting? Um, in terms of being able to kind of see where the key center is at. Yes, albeit with the bass, that, you know, but that A, like, what does it, uh, you know, refer to? You can't just go based on the fact that there's an A playing, you know, because we're not in the key of A, for example. That's got a roll, so it's essentially called five. Um, but yeah, this D, it's mainly where we're, I would I would say, where we're around, yeah. It just works, you know. of E now. How do they transition? It's always interesting to think how 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 does um J Jacob do these modulations? Let's see. So we've got the five. It's like a sus chord. In relation to D. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Oh you hear it. Do, 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 do. That's the five of E. Classic. <laughs> Simple, five to one. <laughs> the simple things. That's the thing in music as well, you know, often that five to one relationship is going to be one of the strongest relationships you're going to get. Feel the sky, feel the moon. Yep. Let me sing an I love that chord six to the two. I love that. Beautiful. Feel so once again, the sky, D, E, sorry, A. So in the key of E now because before it was D then G to D which was 1, 4, 1 now in the key of E 4 so same thing it's all about the 6 beautiful oh I love that 
Da, 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 da. Just the simple things down the major scale with this vocal. That's lovely. Beautiful. To my heart away. <laughs> minor. Under five rather than a sus even. So he's got the minor. That D's in the relation relation to E. Ah, that's breaking the rule. That's nice. Why not? Five minor to one rather than a five sus to one. Why not, Jacob? Why not? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I see you with the dexterity there, Mr. Baseman. I see you. <laughs> Gonna stretch that pinky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm definitely gonna find out what you just did there. Was that a sharp eleven? I heard you, Jacob. <laughs> so, right. Oh, wow! We're about to go back to D. Oh my, 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 my! Whoa! <laughs> Let's go back a little. Bit. Okay. <laughs> he just sang the sharp one note over D. Oh, I'm going to show you how radical that is. Wow. Scale over a D. Oh my. Ah. Oh. Oh, I hope I haven't forgotten it. <laughs> okay. D that is. That's quite something. He has literally just sung a line from E major, which is where we were before, but the resting point is over D major in terms of the chords. So he's sung a line that's in relation to E major. Wow, so that really is a sharp 11 thing as I thought. Implying that, because if we think about E major as a chord over D, that's a sharp 11. No, octaves here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, up. Wow. 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 <laughs> so my question is then, let me just hit go back a little bit. It's interesting, they were in E before. So somehow, musically, they've ended in D. But he's still got this kind of... Yeah, line that's still in E. Wow. Yep. 
ชวิตอีEnjoyed this reaction? Please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Also, if you're new to the channel, please do subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'm grateful. I'll see you in the next one. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye for now. <laughs>